guys, so today we are making three of my favorite Disney princesses, the Cheetah Girls. But all three of them, we're making all three of the Cheetah Girls. We got Raven, Simone, I'm joking. I love the Powerpuff Girls, so let's get started. Now if you like the videos I produce on this channel, make sure you give this one a huge thumbs up or a small one. There's no real choice. They're the, about, they're the same. They're the same, big or small. You just gotta click the button. But it does really help me out. Now these cakes were pretty simple to make. Only their faces made out of cake. And they all went through the exact same process. So I started with six inch round cakes. I just cut them out a little bit to create sort of oval shapes. And then I just rounded out the sides. And I'm going to add some buttercream on top and give them a crumb coat right before I place it into the fridge. Now we're adding some Powerpuff Girl skin tone colored fondant. And then just adding more fondant to give them hair, eyes, and a mouth. Now Bubbles reminds me so much of Molly from the Runaway Show. She's got the innocence, but she also has all of this power and I just love how she utilizes it. I've been looking for Powerpuff Girl dolls so that I could create like doll cakes, but I haven't found any that are the right size. Now my favorite Powerpuff Girls episode was the one that had Bunny. Now Bunny was the Powerpuff Girl that the Powerpuff Girls created. They wanted to make another Powerpuff Girl, so they put sugar and spice and everything nice, but then they added a whole bunch of other wrong stuff. And that's when Buddy came out and she exploded because she couldn't handle it. That was the first episode I ever watched of Powerpuff Girls, and it was the reason I fell in love with them. I love Bunny. I wish they'd bring her back. Now, Buttercup is definitely my favorite Powerpuff Girl. She's spunky, she's a lot more aggressive. Sometimes she doesn't think before she acts, which is kind of like me because that's how I get into a lot of very terrible situations. And if you want to see more empowered girl cakes, I've got a bunch. We got Captain Marvel in a dress. We got Black Widow in her suit. Ooh, we got Captain Marvel in her suit too. I got a ton of cakes of girls that slay every day. So make sure you go check them out. Now instead of just placing these heads onto a cake board, I'm gonna create the rest of them using fondant. One of the things I love about the Powerpuff Girls is that they balance each other out. All of their powers are very different and they're all so very naive. They don't function unless the three of them are working together. Now creating all of the individual pieces for this was pretty easy because it's like basic shapes and the shapes all repeat. The bodies are all the same sizes, the arms are all the same sizes, and so are the legs. Because there isn't that much like content in like their features, the legs, their bodies, and their arms are all so small that this became more of like fondant art than anything else. Now, I'm curious, which one of the Powerpuff Girls is your favorite? Blossom, Buttercup, or Bubbles? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!